In this video I show you how I made those insanely cool 3D illusion LED lamps. What challenges I had and what equipment is best for this job. Stay tuned and you will know how to make them by yourself. The LED lamp has two components. The component that you look at is the transparent acrylic sheet with picture or pattern engraved on. It's important to choose the right acrylic or the lamp will never light up. I speak about this in details a bit later. The second component which makes the magic happen is the stand. This is what holds the acrylic sheet and lights this up to create 3D illusion. To get this lamp started it's best to get the stand done. This is insanely simple and requires only two 3D printed models, a bit of LED stripe and something where you can connect the power supply. The bottom part of the stand has this little extrusion in the middle. This is where we glue the piece of LED stripe. In this video I am going to use single color white LED stripe. But if you plan to build this by yourself you can go whatever you like, some other type of color or even RGB. The reason why I am using white LEDs is because the LED stripe is just best what I have. They are powerful and produce nice pure white light. Anyway despite what type of LEDs we are using we need only 5 cm. When we have the right amount of that it's usually better to solder the wires before we glue the stripe to the stand. For now I'm using 9 volt battery connector. Now when this step is done we just simply have to connect those two pieces together with M3 bolts. And we are done. The stand is done I mean. Well actually this stand is my first prototype and this had a little issue. This is so light. When I put a little higher acrylic sheet in there it got so unstable it just fell over. But it's easy to fix, it just have to be heavier. So I ordered the bottom piece from PCB Way. I ordered the model to be printed with metal, because this is the heaviest possible solution I can think of. And for sure it worked. This piece is solid stainless steel and this for sure does the job. By the way from PCB Way you can order models printed with metal, even with titanium. But also it can be CNC'd, injection molded or even sheet metal fabricated. I have used PCB based service for about 4 years and every single time they have done absolutely excellent job. PCB based service is absolutely lifesaver when you need something but you don't have right machines, skills, tools or materials. PCB way have solution for every situation. Also their service is just so simple to use. Just select production method. Upload your 3D model and select the material. If needed you can tweak some specific settings. Now when this is done PCB way will do the rest. I did exactly same thing with the metal base that I did with the plastic one before. But I did one change to the top piece also. This time the sides are extruded a bit because I want to cover the metal piece completely. The color difference doesn't look really nice. Also this time I printed the top piece with carbon fiber nylon for good look. Those changes that I did worked flawlessly. Now when the base is completely done we can move on to the way more complicated component, the acrylic part. Before we can make one first we need to know what we want to make. There is only two options. First design something nice by yourself or second download someone's design. I have absolutely zero art skills so the first option is out for me. And I search something cool online. I found really nice library on 3axis.co. Now when we have find some designs that we want to make, we have to start speaking about technical things. How we are going to get the design on or acrylic. Three most common methods are laser engraving, CNC engraving and hand engraving. The list start with the best and end with the worst. Let's break it down starting from the bottom. Hand engraving means that you take your Tremor tool and engrave the picture to the acrylic sheet. This gives you the least accurate result and is most time consuming. Doesn't have any benefits over the other two methods, except this requires the cheapest equipment. CNC machining is good choice for this job, but most of the people don't have CNC machine. Decent CNC machine is pretty expensive for hobbyists. And they are pretty complicated to operate. The best option is laser engraving. This is the method that I used only in this video. 
because this is the best one. The result is excellent and operating laser is extremely easy compared to CNC machine. But it's really important to use the right laser for this job. The laser engraver that you can buy with few hundred bucks, those are diet lasers. Diode lasers will not work on transparent acrylic, it has to be CO2 laser. The best CO2 laser on the market is x tool PTU, especially at this price range. Yes, CO2 lasers are way more expensive than diode lasers, but they also can do way more. If we speak about engraving transparent acrylic, it's insane how easy this is for CO2 laser and the result is spot on. Now when we know what kind of production method we wanna use, we need to select the right material. Sounds really simple, some transparent acrylic, right? Well, not at all. There is so much things to look out for buying right acrylic. Well, I even made two major mistakes while making this video. First of all, we have to look that our clear acrylic is actually clear. Let me just show you what I mean by that. Look at this one. Nice piece of plexiglass. Seems perfect option for our LED lamp. Well, it's not the case because if you look at the side, it has some blue tint and this wouldn't work for our LED lamp because the LED cannot travel through the blue. And the second thing, which is extremely important, is how the acrylic is made of. There are two types of acrylic, extruded and cast. Here are both of them. This one where we see the nice lines are cast acrylic and the other one is extruded. For this video, we wanna use cast acrylic. Both of them have their own benefits. But for those LED lamps, cast acrylic give us better result. Now we have our design, production method and the right material, it's time to actually do some nice engravings. Because I'm using Xtool PDU, I also going to use their own software, Xtool Creative Space. This is extremely powerful software and I can do all the editing if needed here. No need for any other software. If you are going to use something else, you might need, depend what you are trying to do. So first I scale the model to the right size. Then I am grading right size leg that goes into the slot on our lamp base. In my case it has to be 20 times 40 millimeters. So I am making sure this is nicely done and connected to the outline of the design. Now I am going to enter the settings for upcoming engraving. Well Xtool has here so many presets I actually don't need to do it manually. And to be exact, I am not going to do engraving, I am going to score the lines on this model. I also add 0.1 mm offset, this will be the line what I will cut. And we are done. Let's send this to the machine. Boom. We already seen this model and this looks really nice, absolutely perfect. But here is more some designs that I did with exactly the same way that I just showed you. I think most of them turned out really great. There are few that I really love and some where I did mistakes, like this cat. This should be bigger, because the cat face is just a mess. Also this light bulb is not that good. This one was engraved instead of scored and I made this from the picture not from the vector file. That's why this isn't the best. But the rest of them turned out amazing, 10 out of 10. Especially I like this one. I made this from myself and this is my design. By the way I designed this using Fusion 360. This is not the right software for this job, but this is where I feel the most comfortable. I hope you got knowledge and inspiration to make those LED lamps by yourself. But for now, thank you for watching, I'm out, bye.